Welcome to another Wise Owl Short. In this one I want to have a look at suppressing or hiding rows. Here I have two tables, one where I've taken the rows I don't want and used an asterisk to conceal them. On the other I've straight up hidden the rows so they're not in my visual. This technique also works for columns, it's not just about your tables. First thing we're going to need is some tables to look at, so I've got my original one to have a comparison to and then I've got my supplicant ones. Go to wherever you want your measure to be, right click, new measure. I'm going to call this suppress rows. I'm going to start off with basic if, and if you've already got a measure that you've created, don't make that measure more complicated, just use it here. So my measure, square bracket, is sum of quantity. I'm going to say if the sum of quantity is less than 500, then I would like to return an asterisk in a set of quotation marks. Otherwise, if it's above 500, give me sum of quantity. Close your bracket. Hit return and add that into your visual. That's one way of doing it. You can even replace the asterisk if you wanted to with something else such as Windows full stop, which brings up the emoji keyboard. I'm not sure how impressed your voice will be, but it will certainly make somebody chuckle. Do keep in mind that you can't use emojis in other visuals, so if I tried to make a column chart, I would end up with an error message. The alternative is to hide the rows. If you've ever looked at a visual and found that you're missing some rows, that's normally because there's no data. If you go to a field, such as your text field or your date field, Use the drop down in the field well, you'll see show items with no data. We're actually going to do the opposite. Go to your measure table, right click, new measure, and this time we'll reference our measure from scratch. So I'm going to have this as hide rows equals, and I want to put in here if, this time my sum function, my quantity call is less than 500. And what we're going to do is make use of Power BI's default position, which is to hide blank rows. So I'm going to say blank. Not an empty string, blank, which is the equivalent of a null. Comma. Otherwise, I want to return the sum of quantity. Of course, you could also use this to just return alternative expressions. So you could do a different kind of calculation, or you could even return the word if you wanted to. Hit return. Add that into your visual and you'll see that the rows are empty. Now interestingly the rows are still there. That's because I have at least one other column that produces data. If I was to get rid of that sum of quantity, you'll see that the row itself goes away. Adding the sum of quantity back in returns those rows. So an alternative, if I had to keep this column, maybe I was doing the count or something like that, would be instead to apply a filter using your new measure. If I go to the filter pane, I'm going to say is not blank. Click on apply filter and that will remove all those rows. If you've got any other ideas you'd like to ask about, put them in the comments below. We're always looking for new ideas for videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.